Hey, this is Brandon from AC Service Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the blower fan wheel for multiple mini split indoor wall mounted units. Now, I've already covered how to remove the entire blower assembly and the fan motor itself, but in this case, it's going to be a lot simpler. We're just taking out the fan wheel so that we can get behind the fan, wipe the shroud, and clean the wheel itself. Now, you might be asking, is it really necessary to do that? Well, let me show you. As you can see here, we have a mini split indoor wall mounted unit that's been dismantled. We have the fan blower wheel, the back shroud, and the coil itself. And they are all covered in mold, mildew, biological growth of various kinds, and it's disgusting. As a result of the environment in which these systems operate, this buildup of mold and mildew and biological growth and all of these things is completely normal, which is why regular cleaning is so important. And it starts with the blower fan wheel. This is probably the easiest piece of all this to get to. And once we get this out of the way, we then have access to the back here, as well as the underside of the coil, and we could thoroughly clean those as well. And this is important because this is the stuff that the homeowner or the building occupant may be breathing in over time. So pulling this out, wiping this down, cleaning this, and getting to the underside of the coil, it's not as hard as it may seem. So right now we're gonna jump into how do we get the blower wheel out of these systems. As we get started, keep in mind that every system is gonna be a little bit different. The systems I covered today are just a taste of what's out there but hopefully the principles that you learned today will help carry you through whatever system you're working on. And pretty much regardless of what system that may be, it should take between five to 15 minutes to get that blower wheel out in order to get things cleaned. At the same time, it should only require the use of a screwdriver, maybe a flathead as well in order to pop the top on some of these, but we'll cover that in a minute. I would recommend not using a drill as it's easy to crack the plastics and honestly, it's not worth it. So let's get started. Now, the first system we're going to cover is the Fujitsu system. The first thing we're going to do, make sure the power's off. Obviously, as you can see, mine's not plugged in, so we're good to go. As we get this process started, we're going to start, in this case, by taking the front cover off, setting it off to the side, and next, we're going to remove the screws from the faceplate here, here, and here, as well as the two on the bottom. Next, we're going to remove these two little clips. And while I'm still on the bottom side of this unit, I'm going to take out this louver blade. I'm going to pop this pin in the middle, just with your thumb, push that out, pull it towards us, loosen that there. Loosen that. Now, on the left hand side, there is a spring. Now, this spring wants to unwind, and that's fine. Just keep in mind that it needs to be tensioned back into place when we go to put it back. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this shroud off, and in order to do that, first, I'm going to actually pull these out because I don't want them to fall and break. Then we unclip this from the top. Now we simply pull the faceplate off. Next, we're going to remove a few screws. On this particular unit, you will have to shift the electrical compartment, but all you need to do is loosen up that clip there. That'll give you the room you need later. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to move this grill. We're just going to disconnect it from right there. And then we're going to take our flathead, just pop that off of there. Give us a little bit of room to move. Now the reason we're doing that is because we need to get to the set screw, which is back up under here. Now we're going to rotate our fan wheel until we find a missing tooth in the blades all the way to the right, which happens to be right here. Now, and I'm going to take our screwdriver, line it up in there. Once you get lined up on the set screw, you're just going to loosen it up a little bit. Usually one, one and a half turns will do it. And then you can tell that it's loose because the wheel will shift. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take off these little gray lips here. We're going to pull them out. When we do that, keep in mind that there's going to be water in here most likely if it hasn't all drained out. So you're going to want to have something to either catch that water or something to sop it up with. You're also going to want to wipe this out as part of your cleaning process. So let's pop this off. Now 
Be careful as well not to just let this drop or swing away. You want to take your time. You want to make sure that it's stable before you let go of it. The last thing you want to do is break something off because you just drop something off of here. Now that the drain pan here is secure and we can see that it's been wiped out and it's clean, we can shift to moving the coil and we're going to move this coil just a little bit so that we can get to the actual blower wheel. As you can see, there's plenty of space for us to get this wheel out. We're just going to shift this over here. We're going to pull that off. Set it aside so we don't lose it. And then we're going to shimmy the blower wheel off of the motor shaft. Now, when we do that, we want to be careful not to damage the, the fins. Pull it out. Set the coil back in place. And, if possible, we can even lift up the drain pan and put that back in place temporarily. Keep in mind, these things are hanging on the wall, so you really don't want to walk away from them without them being secured back into position before going to do something else. Now that we temporarily reset the coil in place and we got our blower wheel out of the way, we can inspect and clean the underside of this area. We can also check underneath and see the condition of the coils and clean all of those as well. Then we can clean our blower wheel and begin the process of putting this back together. Now once you have everything clean and you're ready to put it back together, first thing you want to do, make sure you put the gasket back on the end of the wheel. Make sure that you've re-greased this, especially if you cleaned it out thoroughly. Same thing with the shaft. Put that back together. Then you want to pull the coil back again the way we had it so we got a little extra space to work. Lift it up slightly. Keep a finger on the end of the gasket that you put on the blower wheel so it doesn't fall off. Slide the wheel in. And you're going to want to probably try to hold that with your thumb so you can get a finger over here to line up on the motor shaft. Once you're in place, just shimmy it a little bit. Should slip right on. Set your gasket where it needs to go. Set your coil back in place loosely. You really want to make sure that you set this back in place while you have the opportunity there. Then you want to push your drain pan back together where it needs to go. Keep in mind those gray clips are on the bottom. The middle one's usually the easiest to get in place while you're getting everything set. You also want to get your electrical compartment back into place. And we're going to clip up on the top here. Shimmy it around. It's got to hop up there. Then we can simply push these two clips back. Next, we want to screw the coil back in. Now, before we put this back, we want to make sure to tighten our set screw. And before we do that, we want to make sure that we've got some wiggle room both ways. That way, it's got space to slide. It's not bumping up against the edge of the plastics. Now we can put this back in place. Next we're going to put the shroud back on. Make sure you're pressed in tight on all sides. Everything's in snug and then we're going to put these screws back in here in the bottom. While we're here, we're going to put this in place as well. We're going to tighten that by spinning it one time. I'll put a little tension on there. And then we're going to slide it into place while slotting it into that hole. We're going to curl it a little bit, get the other side in, line up this middle piece, toss this pin back in, gently push this back into place. Next, we're going to put our electrical covers back in. Then we're going to screw the face plate back together. The 
Finally, we're going to slide the cover plate back on. And this system's ready to go. So we're on to the next system, the Mitsubishi. We're going to make sure it's not powered. And then we're going to get started. As with the previous system, we're going to take the face plate off. Now this one doesn't have any screws in the face. We've got two in the bottom and then we have to unclip the top. So we're going to pop these off. So for this particular unit, when it comes to loosening the shroud, you're going to want to take a flathead and just work it in there. You can kind of see where the joints are. There you go. Now we just pull the shroud off, being careful of the louver blades. Now we're going to remove the coil screws. Next, I'm going to move this little piece out of the way. Just flips down like that. And then we're going to undo these gray clips right here and here to loosen this up. Keep in mind, as with the previous system, this is the drain pan, so there could be water in it. You're definitely going to want to take your time, bring it down a little bit. Make sure there's no water in the top of this here. And if there is, make sure you've got something to catch it or sop it up with. And then make sure that you've got it in a stationary place where it's safe before letting go. If you're on the side of a ladder, definitely make sure to be mindful of your surroundings. Make sure that you're not leaving marks on the wall and that you're not in a position where this is going to drop. Next, we're going to loosen the set screw. Next, we're going to pull the coil back, grab the wheel, pull the gasket off, set that aside. Then we're going to work the wheel loose from the motor shaft. If you have to, go on the back side by the motor shaft, kind of use your finger to work it away from there. Once you're loose, just pull it out, being mindful of the fins. Reset the coil so it's secure, and then you're good to start cleaning. Now that the blower wheel is out, it's a good time to clean the backside of this. After all, that's why this fan wheel is out in the first place. And it's also a good idea to check the underside of the coil to make sure there's no damage or any other kind of problems that you could see. Once the underside is clean and once you check the underside of the coil for any problems, and once you have your blower wheel clean, make sure you put your gasket back on, grease it if necessary, and then we're going to pull the coil out of the way, and we're going to slide this wheel back into place. It's a good idea to keep your hand or a finger over the gasket since it tends to fall off. Once you get about there, you're going to want to double check the shaft is lined up with the end of the blower wheel. Should have that in place, set that there, get the gasket back in place, and then you're going to want to realign the coil like so. Next we're going to tighten up the set screw. Now we can get the drain pan put back in place. Be careful of the louver blades while you're doing this, you don't want to break something. You can also push these gray clips back into place. And we'll slide this back where it was. Now we can screw the coil back in. Now we can put the shroud back on. Being mindful of the louver blades. Put these screws in. And now finally the face plate. Now we're going to do the Daikin unit. First thing we're going to do, check for power, and then get started. 
So to get started, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the three screws on the front plate of this. We're actually going to leave this on because it's easier to leave it and just take the whole thing off than to take this front piece off. Now that we took the screws out of the face, we're just going to pop the top on this. And now it's ready to come off. Now that the top is unclipped, we're going to carefully pull this down. It's one piece. Now with this particular unit, all you have to do once you get the screws out is lift up from the bottom side and pull down. As you do so, the drain will come down. Next, we're going to loosen the set screw. Now we can pull the blower wheel out. So we're going to lift the coil, and we've got a little clip here that's holding the blower wheel in place. We're going to pop that up, remove that. It's basically the gasket. Set it aside. And we're going to pull the coil up, grab the wheel, pull it towards us. Just take your time. Once you get the wheel out, slide the coil back down. Make sure it's secure in place. Now that we have the wheel out, we can clean the underside of the coil and the back plate and the blower wheel. Once you have everything clean and once you have your wheel clean, make sure you put your gasket back on. We're gonna lift the coil up and slide back in. And this clip sits right back in this little pocket here. Make sure that's secure. Push your coil back and down. There's a little hook for it to sit on. And then you're good to go. Next, make sure you re-tighten your set screw. Now we can put the drain pan back. Keep in mind it's important to double check that that drain is actually connected and secure and as you turn this up you're going to want to shift it to the right a little bit and it'll pretty much go right into place i mean it's it's where it needs to be right now but we're going to make sure everything is sitting where it's supposed to push it back and then we're going to put our two screws in the bottom re-secure over here and here Now we're going to put the faceplate back on, being mindful of the louver blade as we do so. You can just clip this in place from here. And lift the front. We're going to put our three screws and our plate back in place. That's it. So I'm going to show you one more example. In this case, this is one of the test models that we use, so a few things are missing out of it, but it doesn't change the process of getting to the blower wheel. I'm going to show you. All we do, lift the front. We would take two screws out here, so maybe add 10, 20 seconds. Lift. Set this aside. Now we're going to go into the electrical compartment here. We're going to remove the blue connector for the louver motor. 
and this white connector for the, for the blower motor. We're going to pull these out, set them aside, then we're going to unclip here, lift this up, and this will allow us to work the wheel and the motor out all in one piece. Now all you'd have to do is find your set screw, disconnect the clip over here, and you're all set. Now in some instances it is possible to come across a fan wheel where you cannot get to the set screw. As you can see here in our example from the beginning, there is no missing blade. And in fact, getting to the set screw requires lifting up the coil enough to be able to get a screwdriver in through here. And we cover how to remove a blower wheel from this type of mini split in our ductless mini split cleaning video. So go check that out. So hopefully this helps you understand a little bit more about how these are built and put together and how to get to those blower fan wheels. And if you're looking for more information, be sure to check out our website at acservicetech.com. And if you want to learn more about mini splits, be sure to check out our mini split operation service procedures book. This book is available on Amazon and on acservicetech.com. And it goes over a plethora of information regarding the operation of mini splits, the indoor units, outdoor units, refrigeration cycle, fan motor operation, the electrical side of things, and much more. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at the AC Service Tech channel.